Hi there, this is Michelle V. Hill with the University of Wyoming Extension, Money, Michelle's Money Minutes. Today I'm gonna to be talking about paying off debt, having trouble paying your bills, are your accounts being turned over to debt collectors, are you worried about losing your home or your car? You're not alone. Many people face a financial crisis at some point in their lives. Whether the crisis is caused by personal or family illness, the loss of a job, or overspending, it can seem overwhelming. Often it, it can be overcome. Your financial situation doesn't have to go from bad to worse. If you or someone you know is in financial hot water, consider these options. Uh, number one would be self-help, and that's using a realistic budget and other techniques. I would consider debt strategies, um, going over there's several debt strategies that you can take. One would be called the debt snowball, and that's where you focus on paying off your smallest debt first while paying minimums on the others, then roll the amount that you had been paying onto it into payments onto the, on the next largest. So that's a debt snowball. Then there's a debt avalanche. You pay off your debt with the highest interest rate first while paying the minimums on the others. Then the next highest rate and so on. It may save you time and money over the course of your debt payoff. Then there's a third strategy and that's debt consolidation. And that's to combine multiple old debts into a single new one, ideally at a lower interest rate, making payments more manageable or the payoff period shorter. There are a few ways to consolidate debt, including balance transfer cards and, uh, and personal loans. Um, so with self-help, those are three strategies that you can start off. But I would definitely recommend um, developing a budget, um, knowing everything that you have coming in and going out is critical at this time, especially if you're going to get a, a handle on it and be able to realistically look at what you um, are spending or maybe you have an income crisis and need to get another job perhaps. Um, also, something you need to do if you're in paying off debt is contact your creditors and contact them immediately, especially if you're having trouble making ends meet. Tell them why it's difficult and uh, come up with a modified payment plan um, so that it can be a more, so that you can have a more manageable level for a short period of time. Uh, make sure that you don't wait um, until things are the creditors have given up on you and you've missed a bunch of their calls and you haven't communicated. It's very important to let them know what's going on. Um, when you are dealing with debt collectors, federal law dictates how and when a debt collector may contact you. They may not contact you before 8 a.m. in the morning or after 9 p.m. or while you're at work if the collector knows that your employer doesn't approve of the calls. Collectors may not harass, harass you, lie, or use unfair practices when they try to collect a debt. That happens quite often, so be aware of that. Um, it is illegal. And they must honor a written request from you to stop further contact. However, I caution you with um, uh, cutting off all contact with debt collectors because if you do owe a debt, um, there you do have to, I, I would be dealing with them, but deal with them on your terms and make sure you don't give access to them to your checking or savings accounts because they may clear it out. Um, also, you want if you're managing your auto and home loans, um, which are all part of this, you wanna make sure to know what your unsecured and secured. Secured loans are tied to an asset, such as your car or your home, they can come back and take the car or the home. Something that would be considered unsecure is credit card debt, um, medical bills, and signature loans. So you need to keep that in mind. It's really important to be proactive, excuse me, when you are dealing um, with a debt situation. Um, in part two, I'll be talking about debt management, um, strategy, some debt management um, people you can contact so that you could possibly get assistance. So um, I hope you like this and please share it. And thank you so much for watching and listening. Have a good day.